Hey everyone, Robbie here again. Today, we wanted to answer your questions that you have about how to be more successful in flight school. So what I did is I went out and I talked to some of our students and our instructors and got their opinions on it. Let's take a look. What can students do to succeed in flight school? Lots of studying, tons of studying. Like how many hours a week should a student be studying? Uh, more than you think is necessary. That's, that's all there is to it. If you had to put a number on it, how many hours per week? Uh, 25 to 40, it's a full-time job. What can students do to succeed in this program? Work hard, study hard, don't play for a while. Study, 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 and then when you have free time, study. About how many hours a week should a student be studying? You should be studying about uh, four hours, four to six hours for every hour of flight. How do students succeed in flight school? Study their butt off. I just about said something I should have said. <laughs> Uh, studying, finding a good group of peers to work with and kind of a good support network uh, and talking to the people that are here to help more often before it's a problem. How many hours a week should a student be studying? All of them. What do you need to do to be a successful student here? Study. Okay, how much per week should a student be studying? Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, two hours maybe? Two, two hours a week? Maybe an hour? I'm not sure. An hour a week is Yeah. That should do it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. An hour or two? What's a mistake that new students make when they first get here? Not studying enough. Studying only an hour a week. What is one of the biggest mistakes that you see from new students? Um, I see students eager to fly, and so what they'll do is they'll try to fly as much as they can without putting in the bookwork. And the bookwork is just as important as the flight time, even though it might not seem that way sometimes. The mistake I made was not studying enough, so that's going to be everybody's mistake, I think. Not having their priorities right. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're here to fly and you're here to get your certificates, make that your goal and don't let other things distract you from that goal. Not relaxing, getting a little too nervous. Trust your instructor sitting next to you um, and just just relax. Over controlling the helicopter isn't going to help. What, uh, the first one is not studying enough and and not realizing that that the flight uh, portion and the flight aspect of anything that involves aviation is just such a small part of the total workload. It's this. It's the sexiest part. It's the most fun part. But the mountain of paperwork, the mountain of planning, all of that stuff that that takes place before the flight even takes place. That's that's what a lot of people uh, don't realize. What's a mistake that you see new students make all the time? Not studying. Um, you think that you don't need to study as much as you do, and then you get behind a little bit. So just take everyone's advice when they say you need to study a lot. Are you able to have a job and be a flight student at the same time? Yes, actually. I worked at the hangar for a little bit before I was a uh, while I was still a student. Before I was an instructor, I worked at the hangar. I worked at the front desk, and it was a fun time, and I had, I had enough time to study and work and make some money. Would you suggest having a full-time job and being a flight student? No, I think a lot of times that can be a sacrifice that you have to make is... Uh, Flight training is really expensive, so you just got to realize that while you're flight training, it may not be possible to have a full-time job because if you sacrifice being successful in the program, it's going to be a lot more money than what you'd make as a full-time job. Speaking of jobs, do you, would you suggest uh, students have a full-time job while they're in flight school? Not full-time. Part-time, maybe. I just quit my job so I could finish my CFI training. Not unless they're used to working 80 hours a week. <laughs> okay, how about a part-time job? Is it doable? Absolutely. Totally is. <laughs> 100%. I had a, a job before I even started as a student um, here in the program, and then I worked all the way until I finished. Would you suggest a full-time job? Absolutely not. Full-time job is not going to be a method for success. Can a student have a part-time job and still be successful? Yep, you can have a part-time job. Just understand that uh, that, uh, that part-time job is going to take up whatever little bit of free time you had. Hey, how about a full-time job? Uh, I don't think a full-time job is going to work. <laughs> I had a full-time job working graves. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're working graves. <laughs> I had a full-time job and still was successful. Would you suggest having a full-time job? No. <laughs> I would definitely say a part-time job is the way to go. You can. I work here part-time and I have another part-time job. Um, you just got to remember why you're here, though, and be able to have a job that lets you put the program first. Uh, being a student worker here has really helped me with that, and I just finished private yesterday, so it's definitely possible. How about a full-time job? 
full time, it depends on the job. Um, again, it's possible, but they have to be able to be flexible with your schedule here, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, what is something that you have to sacrifice as a student? Free time. <laughs> is it worth it? Absolutely. Free time? <laughs> Money. But <laughs> but it's worth it. Like If that's your goal, then I would say it's more of an investment than a sacrifice. Awesome. And is the sacrifice on free time worth it as well? 100%. What is something that students have to sacrifice while they're a student? Um, a little bit of play, unfortunately. Um, you know, with an accelerated program like this, you are going to have to put in a lot of work. So um, give up the play for just a little bit for long-term success. Is it worth it? 100%. Yeah, all of the hard work is is really worth it. It's such a rewarding thing to be able to go out and fly. Um, and from, a, from an instructor standpoint, to help people realize their dreams, um, it's, it's just an amazing time when you get to see somebody finally get it. And they can go out solo. They go out and do high wind landings. They do advanced mountain ops, NBG, all of that stuff. That's the most rewarding aspect for me. To get where you want to go, sometimes you have to sacrifice a lot of stuff just to get there. And then you get to go back to it after flight school. It feels like you've sacrificed quite a bit for flight school. And then you get everything back after you're done with flight school. So is it worth it? Totally worth it. I love my job every single day. Uh, what is something that students have to sacrifice? Your social life outside of the hangar. I mean, if it's not aviation related, you're probably not going to do too much. Every now and then, though, make sure you still get outside and go for a walk or do something that keeps you sane. Is it worth it? Totally worth it. 100%. Why? You get to be a pilot. I mean, I just got my private check ride finished yesterday, and I'm officially a pilot, and it's the coolest feeling in the world. So definitely worth it. So there you have it, folks. Right from the mouths of our instructors and students, what you can do to better succeed in aviation school. Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, never quit, never give up, fly it to the end.